This begins with Lori Griffith. She is a force to be reckoned with, just a good soul who truly epitomizes inspiring. A former nurse, she started Chasing a Dream to help with needs that slip through the cracks for children battling cancer, heart disease, and other life-threatening illnesses. She stops at nothing for them, and that's exactly why members of Admirals Cove and Jupiter just chose to give this nonprofit $15,000. Ariel Wallace's mom, two times, to Grayson and Skyly. They're her world, which was rocked when four-year-old Grayson became one of 60 people in the world diagnosed with a blood disease called hyperosinophilax syndrome. I have no idea how he got it. He was never sick before. I mean, he's never had a high fever before this. He never had an emergency room trip. He never had a fall. Life's been filled with a lot of anxiety. Throw in coronavirus and it's magnified. But bring in Lori and chase in a dream and you'll find hope. I was kind of like spiraling out of control because I didn't know how to cope with it. And she just kind of like swooped in. She became like the friend, the helper in so many ways and kind of just grounded my feet. Help with basic needs, but more than that, emotional support is what you find in Lori. Locals helping locals is what she says it's all about. And this, money from the Admiral's Cove Foundation, is just that, going from the Jupiter members right to Palm Beach and Martin County families. The members heard the stories of the families and they were seeing everything that they were doing. And when COVID-19 came around, they knew that they were in more need than they were previously. And they really felt the need to go and step up and go and assist these families. They need to be focused on taking care of their children and saving their children's lives. They don't have to be worried about paying their rent or putting food on the table. And food has become a major issue of what we're helping people with as well. Grayson's fight continues on, but this money will also help another local warrior who just passed away from complications after open heart surgery. Her family will now get to give her a proper goodbye. That's another part of what we do. Uh, it's the horrible part of what we do. We have a program called Forever Faith. This story on Chasing a Dream and Lori, it actually originated with Jay Lisa. We were really looking forward to meeting her and introducing her to you. After so many of our neighbors filled her with inspiration, answering Lori's call for cards to be sent to her before that big surgery. She got them. She opened them with a smile. But sadly, she passed away last week after being readmitted to the hospital. There are so many needs, so many ways, big and small, that you can help children like her in our neighborhoods. Just click on this story on 